So generally in identity and access management, right, we, we use one of the identities of the pink Federate and Postdoc, and we manage the environment from within uh, the admin consoles or from the administrator panels of these providers. What we are going to know today is uh, how we can use DevOps culture so that we can uh, bring in continuous integration and delivery into the IAM platforms as well. So the prerequisite for this webinar right. is you must have some understanding of Okta or IAM and uh, basic principles of DevOps. So DevOps is, um, is a combination of two words, development and operation. So development uh, team builds the code, first plans the outline how the code would be built. Then they write the code, they build the code. Then there's testing, which is done on those code for security, for bugs, and post the testing. The operation team creates a release version, they deploy the release. And then there is a continuous monitoring if there is any error, any issues arising with that release. And if there is any, then it is again moved into a plan so that that bug can be fixed. Also, developers can simultaneously work on creating a new version or adding some new features. So they don't have to wait for the entire cycle to complete. As soon as they are developing any new features, they can release that features. And this process, this cycle, as you can see on my screen, would continue, right? So it starts with planning the version, then writing the program, finally building the solution. And once the solution is built, it will go through QA to test for security, test for bugs, and then release the product, deploy the product so that everybody in the world can use it. And then finally operate, monitor, and the cycle continues. So this gives the both the team development and operations to work in hand together. And this helps in organization build faster code. Uh, the, uh, in the legacy version, in the previous version, what we used to do is a developer team would write the code and then it is released. Now we would wait for the feedback to come from the market before we know anything has happened wrong. And then it takes a very long time to again plan and build a solution. But with the DevOps methodology, we can build even the small segment of the code and can release it. So you would see every day now, even for your apps like WhatsApp, Instagram, you see there are continuous updates being rolled out. And those are not a big update. They can be minor update and so on. So this is with the help of the DevOps process. Now, how DevOps can be used in IAM? So IAM is like a very important part of any organization. It helps us to secure the organizations, create policies so that uh, user access control can be put, right? It helps businesses in achieving growth and safe uh, continuity, right? So in, in modern world, every company is looking towards making this process as I as well as possible. So there is less dependency on the people working on this process. So in the development part, we can take the requirements from the customer uh, in form of user stories or, or in form of tasks. We can break down into granular tasks and then we can work on developing those tasks in the form of code instead of performing those manually in an any admin console, we can write the configuration code for those requirements. Once that code has been developed, it can go through um, deployment, testing, and once that is done, the operation team would release that code, would continuously monitor the performance of the code, the health check, and this cycle would continue in the IEM as well. So let's say, for example, if you need to add an application to Okta, a developer, an Okta developer can write the code so that the application would be created in Okta. And the, and the job of the operation team is to continuously monitor the logs of that application to see if that application is performing well. At any point of time, there's an issue or there is a change required, then they can raise a change request. They can ask the developer to work on that change and then that change can again be pushed into the production environment. So this becomes very easy and swift process in an IAM delivery. Tool sets which uh, are available in DevOps are many, but the one which is mostly used in an IAM DevOps solution is one of the configuration management solutions where we can write the configurations for 
our uh, DevOps. We use either YAML, JSON, or XML structure. Uh, somebody's mic is on. Can you mute it, please? So we write the goals in configuration, how we want our desired state uh, in, in a configuration management tool, right? So the ML is a popular choice. There is JSON and XML as well. Then we we need a platform which can execute our code, which is called as infrastructure as a code. So we write certain uh, programs uh, to tell Okta or to tell the IAM platform that we want this user to be created, this application or updated or assign a user to create a policy. So that can be done in Terraform, which is a programming language or which is an infrastructure as a code solution from HashiCorp. It can also be done in AWS Cloud Formation or Ansible. Then for the continuous delivery and continuous integration of this code between developer and operation, we can use a CI CD tool like Circle CI, Jenkins, or GitHub Actions. And then uh, for the version control, because this helps us manage the state, we can go from version one to version two, or we can also downgrade from version two to version one if there is any issues. So we can use popular version control tools like GitHub, Bitbucket, or Azure DevOps. So these are some of the two sets which are used in DevOps for IEM. Out of these two sets, we are going to look at Terraform today. And uh, in this webinar, we are not going to integrate with CI CD. We are going to execute Terraform directly through our CLI, uh, but that can be also done through the CI CD platform. So we are uh, going to show you the power of Terraform and how it can be used to manage Okta infrastructure.